Hey guys, welcome to my first ever YouTube video. Today, I'm gonna to be showcasing you the six month long project of the shopping trolley go-kart. Now, as you can see in this first video, she goes hard. I hit 70 Ks on it, and this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I built it and how exactly you can build it too. So there you have it, the shopping trolley go-kart fully built up. Look how nice it looks. The first thing I'm gonna be doing is showing you where I got the parts from, how much it cost, and how easy this thing actually is to build. The first thing we'll start off with is the frame. So the frame's actually the hardest bit of it, but it's not actually that hard when you're thinking about it. So all it is, is I recommend people to get an old scrap quad. I'll show you what I started off with in the photo that I've just put on the screen. And so basically you have there, you cut the top of the quad out you cut all the little scrap bits that kind of go in a bend, and then you want to cut the quad in half. So what that does is you want to extend it out and put all those little scrap bits from the top down the center of it. And that makes it long and like, that's where you get the length of the trolley to sit in. Once you've got the frame built and all welded together, you want to add little structural metal bits that go down the middle. That pretty much just stops it from the frame from bending. I had a problem when I didn't have those in there that the frame actually just decides to snap. So the little bits just snap off. Now with the engine, this is actually a really easy part, but this does cost a little bit of money to get going. With this engine, I was really lucky. I was searching Facebook Marketplace for weeks for this engine and it came off of a high pressure cleaner. And then you just gotta buy the centrifugal clutch off your local go-kart store. That's the best way to do it. So once you've got the clutch on there, you can buy a chain, which I just got this from a motocross store because the frame was a quad. And like I said, it's just the best way to do it with the quad because you don't have to build the axle. It's already got all these sort of brakes and stuff on it. It's just so easy once you have it on there. Yeah, like when the engine's on, all you gotta do is tune it. Like all these little springs just holding the accelerator cord back so it's not going too fast. I've still got the governor on this. I might remove it one day, but it's perfectly fine as it is because like I said, I hit 70 Ks on this thing and man, it goes bloody fast without the governor removed. So that's the way to go with the engine. You just want to find a cheap one off somewhere. This came off a high pressure cleaner. I'm sure you'll be able to get it off a concrete mixer or anything like that. Yeah. Now for the brakes, these do cost a bit of money. I got this off Facebook Marketplace. I really love Facebook Marketplace. This was $100 for the brakes, and the, the brake line was about $60 for my local store. So all that happens, it's hydraulic drift e-brake. So what it is, the fluid comes through there, comes down, goes to the brake helipar, which clamps the pads together, which stops the brake. It's hydraulic, the same as any other hydraulic system, really. Um, the brake costed me $100, but you, I know you can get them off eBay for about $90. I'll leave that in the description as well. The brake fluid's only about $5, so it's pretty cheap for that as well. So if you don't really mess too much up on this, the price will only be around $500 to make. It's quite cheap for the reason in that you can sell it for quite a bit more. The other costs come in as a welder and all that sort of stuff. I can make another video on how to weld and all that sort of stuff, but yeah. That's pretty much all it is for the parts. I'm gonna take it for a run, show you how fast this thing actually goes, how to run it, how the accelerator cord works. So this is just off a bike, runs down through the end of the frame, comes down, comes through here to where the accelerator thing mounts. And then that just comes through for the brake. It's just screwed on there with a bit of proper Gorilla Glue. Funny enough, this steering wheel was actually from a whippersnipper handle. So the handles that you hold onto, that's what I use for this. And it's the best way when you get creative with this sort of stuff, it's the best way because you're saving so much money with it, but it's just worth it. I'm gonna take the go-kart for a spin now. I'm gonna be showing you how it runs, how the accelerator works, how it starts, and how fun it is just to take it out for a spin. So it's a pretty simple design to start. I've got this here. I have to pull it in just a tad to get it started. All this down here is the choke. That one there is the choke. And that's the start. That's the kill switch. 
So it's all pretty simple. You want to flick the kill switch on, pull the choke out a little bit, give a bit of throttle while you're doing it, while you're sitting there, and do a super cool. The shopping trolley go-kart is finally a reality and you can build one too. I'm going to be leaving all the parts in the description below with the prices and where I got it from. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, put all your comments in the comment section. I will be answering so you never know, you might learn something new, you know. But there you go, hope you enjoyed the video, let's go.